Shepherds in their seventh trip to the Final Four coming into today. They're 3-3 three and three in the state semifinals, facing a Roger Bacon team, a Spartan program in their fifth state tournament appearance. Both teams played Dayton Chaminade Julian this season. And while the T-Birds lost the Eagles by two, Roger Bacon beat Chaminade by 12 earlier on. Contest featuring two of the three Division Three Players of the Year in Ohio, LCC's Martise Kimbrough and Roger Bacon's Carlos Jackson. What would happen in this one? Well, LCC focused and starting very quickly in transition. Martise Kimbrough pops to nothing. Birds next time down the floor. Jake Williams swings it to Trey Cobbs. Look at this little scoop. Falls to the floor, gets it to go. The hot start continues. Xavier Simpson leaves it for Kimbrough. Z3, 7 0 Thunderbirds early on. Williams doing some work down low. Pump fake and finish. It's 11 3, the Birds lead. Then Corey Stewart driving the baseline. Dish to Cobbs. He knows just how to finish from the reverse. Stops an 8 1 bacon run. Then Cobbs playing defense. The swipe goes up for the dunk. It does go in. Birds up 18-13 after one. Second quarter, Spartans passing well. Trey McBride finishes. They draw within one in the quarter, but LCC still leads by seven at the break. Third quarter, Birds pulling away. Kimbrough in transition, takes the bump. Game high 19, leads up to nine. Then Dantez Walton at 11 rebounds and some good assists. X marks the spot. Simpsons three, makes it 46-29 after three. Birds more in the fourth. Walton rebounds, outlet. Simpson finishes. He finishes with 14. More defense leading to offense. Cobbs gets the errant pass, finishes, and the foul. 13 for Trey LCC. Headed to the state championship game with a decisive 63-44 win. Head coach Frank Hill says defense in that second half of the game. You know, I really thought uh, for the second half was the, was the key difference. You know, we made an adjustment in terms of uh, you know, coming out in our 1-3-1 zone. And, and I thought our, our, our entire defense, that second half was the difference because we really, we made them uh, you know, kind of scramble for shots. When we come into games, we always, we always want to throw the first punch. We always want to get out, get a good lead, set the, set the tone, set the momentum. So for us to come out the way that we did, that was, that was big. And we kept that momentum up for the rest of the game. I was kind of like going for the ball but on like that long pass that they threw and I was kind of just like kind of rolled it and it kind of just hurt me right then and there, like extremely bad. Yes, it kind of went away once I walked on it and rolled it around a few times, and as my athletic trainer helped me with it, it kind of went away. But I'm just going to ice it, ice it extremely well today and tomorrow morning, and it should be good for tomorrow. You know, this, this isn't a one-man team, two-man team, or a three-man team. It's all five guys, everybody on the team that's on the roster is important. So to get um, good minutes out of the seven or eight guys that we played, that was real great. That's something we're going to have to do tomorrow as well. And I think our team is, is playing as, as well as we have all season long. And, and it's because of the two guys that are sitting beside me right now because they've been leaders and they've been positive leaders. You know, they're, they're the guys that I want the ball in the hands. And you can see that state semifinal tonight on WOSN. LCC Roger Bacon game debuts at 10. You can also catch a replay of Crestview's state semifinal game Saturday morning at 9 followed by LCC's state semifinal victory. Also coming up on the West Ohio Sports Net in the coming weeks, Delphus Jefferson's dodgeball tournament, the Stolly All Hustle Team Show, and a little Lime Express basketball. Also next week on WOSN, we'll start our spring sports preview shows already. Bath softball, cold water baseball, and Wapak United baseball. Stop by more on the Redskins later on in tonight's show. Check out WOSN.TV for the week's full schedule. Well, up next for LCC, Cleveland and Villa Angeles St. Joseph, the defending Division IV state champs. Vikings beat Bishop Reedy 55-40 in the first game of the shot this morning. Brian Parker, leader scorer, 17, while fellow juniors Carlton Bragg and Maurice Johnson with 11 piece. St. Joe's has appeared in 13 state tournaments, winning titles in Divisions 1, 2, and 4, looking for their first D3 crown. And the T-Birds understand how good their opponent will be tomorrow. Well, I think it's no surprise. They're, they're pretty talented. I mean, they're 6'10", <laughs> huge, um, big bodies. Um, you know, for us, it's, it's, it's the next game that we continue to talk about. And, and tomorrow is the game that we've, we've been planning for for a really long time. And, and, and Coach Babe and I, we, we spoke at the coaches' clinic, you know, last, um, last fall. And, and we kind of shook hands and said, let's make a date. And, and, and between the two of us, you know, this is a matchup that I think, you know, a lot of the state of Ohio saw. Um, it's definitely a matchup I saw from the beginning of the season. And, and for us, it's, uh, you know, it's always been one game at a time. And, and now we're at that last game. And I really think this is the opportunity that, that we really show that uh, you know, we were the best team in the state of Ohio because 
I watch these guys every, every day. There's not a team I wouldn't want to coach right now, you know, except these guys. And, and, and right now, um, I'm going to enjoy this moment because uh, you don't get back to state very often.